Well, hello everyone, it's Sheila back again and as you can see I'm wearing Dagri's cardigan to show you what it looks like. So I've done a, just a small little couple of minute video for you to have a look to see uh, how it's turned out and I think I'm going to take it off now because it's rather warm on top of this jumper. So this is Dagri's cardigan. I finally got it finished and it's measures when you put the ends together like that, which is the way it's supposed to be, it measures 46 inches. And I think I'm going to have to do a bigger size next time I do something for myself. Cause, <laughs> but I am wearing it over a big jumper. It's a thick, you know, well, a stubble knitting jumper I've got on under. Beneath it, just to show you what it looks like. And see the back. And the sleeves. I think the sleeves could have been done with doing a little bit wider, but I followed the pattern to the um, the letter. So just to let you see what it looks like on. So that's how our grease cardigan looks. So I'll be able to parcel it off with the three little children's jumpers that I have for her as well. And I'm busy knitting. She asked me to do a couple of pom-pom hats, one for her and one for her granddaughter, so I'm busy doing that. Because I don't know what the weather's like in uh, Baltimore where Dagri lives. But I thought I'd better get these made and get them in with that parcel because <laughs> by the next time I send a parcel it'll probably be warmer weather. I don't know, maybe it might have the same sort of weather we're having at the, the moment, but it's getting quite uh, mild here. And I have been on my computer and I have downloaded Windows 11 into my computer to see if it will make any difference to my videos. All the trouble I'm having with them keep going bright and dark and it hasn't made a blind bit of difference. <laughs> At least it's got Windows 11 in now. I'll have a look around through it and see what's different about it to Windows 10. But I am not going to my bingo tonight. I got up this morning. I knew I had a cold starting yesterday. I knew it was when I was down with my granddaughter's and my nose was starting to run. And when I got up this morning, I think it's affecting my sinus because my face is sore all around here. And I've got like a headache and I was all, woo when I sat at the top of the stairs, I had to hang on to the banister. I thought I was going to fall down. And So I've just done what I've got to do and I'll finish this video I'm going back to bed for a couple of hours it's just don't feel great at the the moment but I've sat since I got up and sewed up that um cardigan for Dagri and sorting out whatever else um I might have to do the next thing I've got to do for her is that she wants that little short sleeved top but that's more like a, um, a summer kind of thing so by the time I get that done it'll be getting under warmer weather because it is quite it is knit on 3.75 needles so it is fine that's going to take a while and that's what I'm doing the the hat I'm doing that one for Dagri, and I'm going to do a smaller, make a smaller version for a granddaughter who will be coming up to around about eighteen months, I think uh, she is. So I'll make a smaller one, the same one for a granddaughter. And I had to message my friend this morning when I realised I wasn't going to go to bingo tonight because of the way I felt, and I wasn't going to pass this cold on to to the other girls and it happens to be two of the girls birthdays and when it's anybody's birthday we all do a lot of cooking and take food and that in with with us and I told my friend about quarter eight this morning because I didn't get up till half past eight and it was quarter eight when I told her she says but I've already made a pie I said well you have to eat it yourself because I'm not good 
So she messaged, um, we'll have a group where us girls all talk to each other. We just call it bingo. And she messaged on there and told all the girls because she had said that she wasn't coming because she wouldn't be able to come because I wasn't going. And then she messaged back again and said that uh, my husband was going to take her there and drop her off and pick her up again. Like. Which is only right, you know, I mean, why can't you not take her out other times if I don't want to go? I have to go because my friend wants to go all the time and I'm not really that bothered actually. But anyway, I'm going to do a little bit in it and I'm going to make myself a, a cup. I've already had a one. At least this cup I got off Andrew holds a lot. It takes it just to drink it. I think it says on the thing it holds 500 mils, which is a bit more than an ordinary cup. The only problem is I tend to be run to the toilet all the time when I'm drinking out of that cup. Like. <laughs> but... That's it. Uh, I hope this sinus thing I've got doesn't take a long time to go away. The last time I got it, it took a couple of weeks to go away and I was really, I think I stayed in bed most of the time because I couldn't really, it was dizzy all the time and everything. Um, I did get some antibiotics or something at the, eventually off the, um, the doctor when he believed that I had some sort of infection, you know, it just wasn't going away. I hope it doesn't end up like that this time. It's a tone fancy the, the way I felt all that time when I had it the last time. But that's my little bit for today. I'm not doing much today. Like I'm saying, I've still got my pyjama <laughs> pajamas on. I haven't bothered getting ready today. I just knew I wasn't going to be going anyway. Oh, and I did have a... Um, the car today. I had a an envelope come from the postwoman knocked at the door today. It was a woman this time. She knocks hard when she knocks. <laughs> so I heard her all right. I've got the card on on my mantelpiece. I'll have to get it. And it's from Helen. Who I knit those two little jumpers for and I sent them off to her um, yesterday and this came this was she sent a, um, like a registered envelope thing with the, um, the money in for for me instead of using my my bank and that's very nice because I don't have to declare it to the tax man. <laughs> Here's dear Sheila just to say a very big thank you for my two beautiful cardigans. You have made so well. She's says, I've included the, um, the money for your hard work. So says, thank you. I will be in touch with you soon. Keep well and stay safe. That's the lovely card from uh, Helen. So I think I probably have another customer there. <laughs> At least the postwoman, when she knocks, I can hear her and knock, you know, and then I had to, to sign her. You know, those things that you sign with your finger, like on <laughs> my signature, looked nothing like my signature. But it didn't matter, she was just say I had signed for it and that was it. So that's my little bit for now, because I can feel some sneezes coming on. I'm going to go off and, and I will catch up you another time. So thumbs up and subscribe and bye for now.